Hi Maker, I'm Angel with FleeceFun.com and today I'm going to show you how to make this adorable ice skate ornament. You can make it with this um, background or without. It can just be the ice skate if you don't like the little swishy outline thing. Totally up to you. But it is a really fun and easy ornament to make. No sewing required. For this project, you will need the following. For this handmade ornament, you will need five colors of wool blend felt. HTV in white glitter and regular white, Easy Press Mini, Easy Press Mat, Cricut or other cutting machine to cut the HTV, Light Grip Mat, Glue Gun and Glue Sticks, Ribbon, that's optional, and of course you'll need FleeceFun's free PDF pattern that's available by filling up the form on FleeceFun.com. All right, now it is important that this is felt that has some wool in it because we are going to be adding some HTV elements to it. Um, because I don't do hand sewing. It's not a skill I possess. I really admire people who can make those fancy embroidered ornaments. Wow, they're amazing. I am not one of those people. So that's why it's no sew, because I, I can't do that. One day, maybe, but in any case. So in order to add that HTV, since I'm not sewing this, uh, you're gonna need a felt that can take it, which is felt that has wool in it, which honestly, it just, it's nicer. It looks better on the ornament anyway. All right, now that we have all those things cut out, let's get started. Ice Skate Ornament DIY Free Pattern Instructions. Step one, cut out the free ornament template. Decide on the style of skate that you're making. There is a spats shoe style and a snowflake style. All right, now we're gonna cut out these elements. Now there are actually two types of stocking you can make. You can make this kind, which I call the spats style kind, and then there's kind that doesn't have like this in the heel and has a snowflake on it. So decide what style you want or make both styles. Heck, you know, go crazy, but decide what you want because that will determine what pieces you will cut out. You will have the option of eliminating the blue background or outline if you wish. If you're making it with the outline, cut one per handmade ornament. Set the outline aside. Next, cut one of the ice skate base and one of the sole per an ornament. While these don't have to be the same color, I find it helpful when putting together the Christmas tree ornament. Set it aside. Now it's time to cut out the ice skate boot. Since I'm making one of each design, I'll cut another boot from a different color. Set the cutout boot aside. Next, I'm going to cut out the blade to the ornament. In the photos, I'm using the pattern, but when it comes to cutting out real small bits, you have some options. You can trace the pattern onto the felt and cut it out, or you can use the freezer paper technique. I used foil felt for the blades. You can make your own felt using a tutorial. I'll have a link to that below, or you can also buy it. Again, I'll have a link to that below. Cut out one of skate overlay one, if you're making the snowflake style. Okay, now with those smaller pieces, strongly recommend that you put those in a baggie so you don't lose them. Or if you're making the Spats shoe version, that's style two, cut out that overlay and the heel. Be sure to keep track of the little heel piece. Tip, keeping little bits in a small baggie so they don't get lost is very helpful. Finally, from the HTV and the machine of your choice, Cut out the shoelace holes, ice swish, and snowflake. Weed the vinyl. These are all the pieces that you need to make each style of ornament. All right, first things first, we need to add those HTV elements to the skate. Step two, add the HTV to the handmade ice skate ornament. Add the shoelace eyelets to the overlay pieces. Iron it on. If making style two, the process is the same. Iron on the eyelets using the suggested settings for your vinyl. If making the style with the snowflake, iron on the snowflake to the boot at this time. Make sure that it's sitting in a spot that allows for the overlay to be glued on without covering it up. Finally, if you're adding the outline to the skate, iron on the swishes. Notice that they are close to the edge. 
hey, I know it's the middle of the tutorial, but if you're enjoying it, if you're finding it like informational and things are going well, please do me a favor, hit that like button. It's a quick click for you and it helps out my channel so much. And hey, while you're clicking, why not hit the subscribe button too? Well, so you don't miss out on more fun tutorials like this one. I have other ornament patterns too, just so you know. Step three, put the handmade ornament together. So this ornament, it's layering is key. So just pay attention to the order in which things are layered. Let's start with the spat style of ornament, style two. You'll need the base, the boot, the sole, the overlay, and the blade. Now in the past, I have used tacky glue. You can also use a glue gun as long as there's a nice fine point to it. So use what works for you, what is comfortable for you. Start by gluing the boot into place. Be sure to line up the top of the boot with the top of the base. There should be a gap at the bottom for the sole. Now glue the sole into place, lining up the heel and the bottom of the ice skate boot. Now glue the blade into place, lining it up with the base. Next, glue the overlay into place. The heel section will line up with the heel and the toe and ankle will line up with the boot. At this point, you can add a loop of ribbon and call it finished, or you can glue the entire thing to the outline. For style one, the process is similar. Start by gluing the boot to the section in place, lining it up with the top, leaving a gap at the bottom for the sole section. Next, glue the sole into place, lining up with the heel. Glue on the overlay, lining it up with the top. Finally, add the blade to the base. Again, you can leave it as it is here or glue it to the outline. To finish, cut six inches of ribbon, join together at the ends and glue to the back of the ornament to form a loop. Or you can skip the ribbon and use these for garland, tags, or more. I find that these ornaments stick to my artificial tree just fine without ribbon. It's just a matter of preference. And that's it. You have this adorable skate. It looks great. Also, I have more ornaments that would go well with the skate, like my mitten ornament and my snowflake ornament. You can find those on leasefun.com along with several other ornaments that are, you know, like this one, not just like this one, because we just did this one, but different ones that I think you'll also enjoy along with a free PDF pattern. So, hey, everybody wins here. Um, let me know in the comments below, do you go ice skating at Christmas time?